Hi folks, it's Chris in Arena Recording Studio. Uh, a quick A minor pentatonic lesson for you with a different view of how to look at playing the pentatonic scale. Now for those of you that are new to the pentatonic scale and you're not sure of the shape, you're probably going to be playing at something along these lines. Okay, which is literally five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. So that's the A minor pentatonic scale. The notes of the A minor pentatonic scale are A, C, D, E, and G. Okay, so that's very important that we look at this A, C, D, E, and G. Because there's an easier way of playing those. Most of us look at the A minor pentatonic when we're starting out to improvise over a track. And like I say, there's a track in the description, a link to this backing track, which we'll be using on this lesson down below. Um, and we kind of look at the shape rather than trying to make something musical from it. So this is going to get you off and running within a matter of minutes to be playing something using the A minor pentatonic scale. It sounds pretty cool in several positions all over the fretboard. Okay, so when we look at these notes of A, C, D, E and G, if we actually go to the note where we finished on the G, which is the fifth fret of the D string, and then we play this shape of five, seven, and then on the G string, five, seven, and then nine, we're actually playing all the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale on those two strings, just in a very slightly different order of G, uh, A, C, D, and E. So again, on the D string, it's five, seven, B string is five, seven, and then nine on the G string. Did I say B string? I'll run that by you again. D string, fourth string, five, seven. Third string or G string, five, seven, nine. So we get this kind of thing. Okay, so if I put the track on, you'll hear how we can kind of get something that sounds pretty cool and pretty musical just by playing that little tiny snippet of the A minor pentatonic scale, which I say is uh, all the notes of the minor pentatonic scale just in a five note block in the middle of your normal box shape. Okay, so here we go. So that should go something like this. So we'll just let the track start. Just playing those five notes. Okay, so that really just having a little mess around and literally all I did was just slide around the notes and hammered on. And you can find something that starts to sound nice and cool and pretty impressive. Now this is the clever thing that's coming up next with this little phrase because when we play something like that of G, A, C, D, E, we can actually move that shape to the sixth string and play exactly the same pattern, but starting on the third fret of the sixth string, which gives us G, A, C, D, E. So again, on the sixth string, it's three, five. On the fifth string, the A string, it's three, five, seven. So if you remember the first pattern, and then we go to the second, same pattern, we've just mirrored it an octave lower, really. We can now join those two up with so let's see what happens now we've got the same notes but spread over a couple of octaves shall we let's see where we can kind of take that and I'm just doing slides and hammer-ons and pull-offs as well
again, it gives us more scope, even though we're just looking at five note shape patterns rather than the whole six string spread of notes across all the six strings on the minor pentatonic scale. So we've got another place then, if we can play it on a low octave, why don't we actually play it an octave higher again, which would give us... And that's going to be on the B string, the second string, 8, 10. And then on the first string, the E string, 8, 10, 12. So as you can see, it's the same as... The same pattern as that. Same pattern again, just an octave higher, and then we've got the low pattern. So that gives us the opportunity to then link those three octave shapes together with it. And it's an easy introduction into playing five notes across that fingerboard. Um, now, if we put the track on, I'll see what comes out there. And again, I'm just going to slide a couple of hammer-ons, a couple of pull-offs, and probably make a few mistakes as I go along the way, as is normal. But it's the, it's the principle, it's the concept that I'm trying to get across to you there. So let's see how this one sounds with, um, with this in place. All three octaves this time. And I'll start with the first one, then I'll go to the low octave, and then I'll go to the high octave, and then I'll try and mix all three. How much fun is that? Within a matter of five or six minutes, you've kind of got a nice little thing that you can drill, and once you learn one pattern, it's easy to just move it to the third fret of the sixth string, and then the eighth fret of the B string, and it's a really simple five note pattern where you're playing all the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale in each octave. Dead, dead easy, but really effective. And of course, you've then got the luxury, if you want to become a guitar god overnight, of taking it up an octave and playing. I haven't got enough frets to go the octave higher. I'd have to get the SG out for that one. Um, but again, if I put something on and just try and add those in, you'll see how we can kind of fly around the fretboard a little bit with a little bit of emotion and a little bit of phrasing to make something that's really simple and, and sounds really quite nice, I think, in a matter of minutes. Okay, so here we go. I'll try and throw those octaves in now. And we're just going to play them all. the idea you get the idea uh, I'm sure there's licks and phrases in there that you can come up with yourself as well so literally playing the pentatonic scale on the middle two strings um, and playing all the notes of the minor pentatonic scale like that and obviously depending on what key you're in that's movable you can swap and change it all around a little bit with a little bit of perseverance and practice I'm sure you can apply that everywhere it saves it's a really quick introduction into playing something that sounds pretty cool with just five notes rather than having to learn all five box shapes straight away. It's something that I kind of teach most of the students that I'm working with that get into the pentatonics early on because then you can then apply this technique to pop, rock, blues, anything and get away with it. And there will be another stage further. I'll do a part two on this one probably next week for you where we can... Um, add this blues note in there as well which which then changes it again and, and you can just see how it 
goes across the fretboard really relatively easy when we add that blues note as well. Same concept, just a very slightly different shape, that's all. So as always, I've got a crack on, I've got loads to do today, um, and I've just tried to fit this one in for you. So I'm sure it's gonna be of use to somebody out there. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because you know the YouTube algorithm and all this malarkey, don't you know it likes it. Uh, uh, so for me, Chris, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And, and the comments are great, whether it's a productive or a negative comment. I do take it all on board and I do try and respond and reply to everybody. So thanks very much for supporting my channel. And as always, I like to say, stay safe, stay well, and keep on rocking in the free world.